All right, guys, this is a new boat that we're introducing this year for 2015. To be honest with you, we haven't even named it yet, so that's still up in the air. But uh, this thing, I, we used it about the last week to 10 days of duck season, some uh, friends of mine and I did, and it's a duck killing machine. It really is an awesome little boat. And um, what I think makes it so unique is, is how small it is, yet how much room it has on the inside of actual huntable, usable space. The boat's only 14 foot long. And, but it's got a 50 inch bottom on it and you can't see it because the blind is on here but we'll show some pictures in this video somewhere I'm sure that shows how it's just a cockpit it's a raised wall all the way around that sticks up it's actually got 17 and a half inch sides on it you know which is about the same as our 44 inch bottom the sides as you're used to seeing them are super low down to the water it almost looks like a stealth plane um, but the actual where it keeps water from coming in is about 17 and a half inches up. So it's a really cool little boat. Uh, it's, it's so easy to hide. I just can't stress to you how nice it is to pull this up next to a, a clump of myrtle bushes and stick a few more down that you cut in front of the boat, pop the blind up, and you're gone. They can't see you. It's, it's unbelievably easy to hide three grown men. It hunts too easily, three with no problem. As you can see, this dove bucket here, you can start hunting here. And I've got tons more room. You can look down there. You can put another guy right there where the life jacket is and a third guy way up there where the life jacket just got thrown. So three people to hunt. And I mean, I've got room inside this blind for days. It actually has 46 inches between the, wall, the walls right here. And there's 46 inches between the catwalks on my 1754 hunt deck. So it's got just as much room, if not more, continuous length of that 46 inches than my 54 inch bottom 1754 hunt deck does for hunting space. It's plenty spacious. You can put your soft guns underneath here on the side. Uh, one thing I will do next season as I start to rig my boat out is I'm going to have my spud poles clamped along the side there. Uh, we've got a new 5 foot, uh, 10 foot push pole that breaks down into two 5 foot pieces. It's real nice. You'll see that too for 2015. That'll store underneath there real easily. We just threw our decoys in the front. We had two guys sit side by side on these dove buckets. One here and one there, and I drove the boat in the back, put our blind bags behind us, our guns underneath there, our decoys out in front. 27 miles an hour with a stock 35. A stock 35 horsepower motor. You don't have to buy a 5500 mag or a 4500 Black Death and go your warranty down to six months. You've got a three year warranty on that nice little quiet engine. It's been a long time since I ran a stock motor, and it was nice. It was really nice to have that. Uh, it's just quiet and doesn't doesn't work you to death. So um, uh, it's it's an it's a great boat for uh, interior marsh. That's something I want to stress to you guys. This is not the boat that you're going to buy to go put your wife and three kids in and go cross the Mississippi River. I want to make that very clear. This is a protected water interior marsh boat not something you want to be crossing big rough open seas in open lakes we sell plenty of other boats for that you want to buy a one boat does it all type thing that's what we specialize in at gator tracks boats we got tons of different boats for that this is not that boat this boat is a boat that's made to hunt the interior marshes of the coastal areas or sloughs or beaver dam areas or small river systems like we're on now that's not going to encounter any rough uh, seas or big ship traffic Perfect for that. Perfectly safe for that. Does great. Does a does a great job for that. But I do want to stress to you that it's it's not a 12 month out of the year boat like all the other boats that Gator Tracks makes. You can look at our website and see tons of options for that. But let me tell you something. This kills ducks. This thing is unreal. We had a great time in it at the season. Killed limits of birds the last week of the season out of it consistently. Um, great little boat. So I'm going to go over a few of the features of it with you and uh, we're going to video with it running a little bit and show you a few things. But look for this 2015. I wish I could tell you what I was going to call it so you could look for the name. But check back with us again. Guys, I just want to show you that this is a 313 pound motor and I weigh about 210 pounds and I'm standing on the back of this hunt deck in bone dry feet. So uh, we got a lot of competitors out there that have hunt decks that uh, stay underwater without anybody standing on them, much less if you stood on it, you'd be ankle deep in water. This is the smallest, littlest, tiniest boat that Gator Tracks makes, and our hunt deck doesn't go under, even on 
a shorter uh, hot deck with 300 pounds of motor and 200 pounds of man on it. So just wanted to show you that the dog hunted great off of this this weekend. It works just like our other hunt, duck, uh, hunt decks do. Great feature to have. And the length is included in the boat. It's 14 feet including the hunt deck. Guys, if you'll notice, it just doesn't take anything to move this boat. It's so very light. It weighs 400 pounds. So the slightest bump of the throttle, the boat moves. So we were hunting in a lot of sheet water the last week of duck season. Had no water, really. All the northwest wind had blown the, motor out, the water out of the, the marsh. And we were hunting in that on top of mud. And this boat can go places that my 5500 mag won't go pushing that 1754 hunt deck. This boat will go there with three guys in gear, with a dog, with a decoy, with 18 ducks. I mean, the maximum load I was going to have in there, grass, blind, everything, through sheet mud, sheet water over mud, no problem at all. Um, just was amazing. As a matter of fact, we didn't even turn the motor on many times to get our decoys picked up because the boat was just free-floating over that mud. So um, excellent for the marsh, excellent for really shallow, super skinny water that you're used to getting stuck in in a bigger boat or at least having to have a huge horsepower motor to get you out that's a stock 35 and I think you'd have to stick it on dry ground for it to, uh, to, to, to stop you so guys one thing about this blind and what we're doing on all of our fast grass blinds now is instead of having the rope on one side with a D-ring and the rope on the other side with a swivel snap and pulling it up and straining yourself till you get a hernia to try to make it snap and you can't quite do it, and you're always tying knots because it's too loose or it's too tight, and you're adding a carabiner to it. This just makes it a lot easier. These ratchet ropes that we're using now, you just lift the line up and pull it tight wherever you want it to be. There's one in the front and one in the back. There's one that snaps in the front where you could probably get away with just doing one. I'm just sitting on a standard dove bucket right now, uh, and I'm about I'm about six foot tall, so I'm sitting on a standard dove bucket. It doesn't take very much to duck down when the birds start coming. You're not stuck, you know, chest high out of the blind. And these are adjustable. You can make these blinds as short or as high as you want to make them anyway. But uh, this is pretty much what it looks like. The one in the front's not hooked up. But again, all you do is just pull the, the Tighten it up in the front and just tighten the back. The ropes are on the extreme ends, all the way at the end. They're not running across right here, right in the way of a hunter. So you can't really get any farther forward than right here, and it's the same way in the back. But you can see I have plenty of room to hunt one, two, three people, no problem. There's plenty of room in here. Cook, do whatever you want to do in this thing. Throw a motor cover over the back. Of course, we always, you know, suggest that you pull up and try to cut a little brush and shove it down in front of you. You can't hide too much from these things. We all know that. But as far as the base, having your base, carrying it with you everywhere you go, pretty simple, short, compact system with a ton of room to hunt. So, I mean, to take this thing out, you take a little tension off, push the button. That one releases. Go to the front, do the same thing. That's it. Blinds down. Quick, easy, ready to move.